Hello, I'm Andy Rash, the technical trainer for DMAG Cranes and Components. Today I'd like to take a look at history of the venerable P-hoist. We have a model on a stand that represents a 1970s and 1980s hoist. It has a main motor without a micro speed and a gearbox, both attached to the round frame that gives it its torpedo shape, which is a key identification factor. The P-hoist was introduced around 1961 to the North American market, and it was one of the first hoists introduced that would allow for motor removal or gearbox removal while leaving the hoist frame and drum intact on a trolley. There are hoists in the series from 1961 to about 1967 that have a two-digit model code. The major difference with those versus the ones made after that with three-digit model codes are internal. There's a different drivetrain and coupling, and you're going to find parts hard to get for the old, early 1960s hoist. They don't all cross over especially inside the drum where there's a coupling and drive shafts. There's a few instances where they do, and the majority do not. You may recognize this as a key hoist rope guide tool. It's special and it really does help to do the job. One of the future videos will be on the removal of the rope guide. As you can see, there's limited access to it through the opening where the rope lead-off is. Also, there's a slit across the back that's only about an inch or so wide to help guide it around the drum when you remove it. It's relatively heavy as it's made up of several segments of cast iron held together by a steel band and it has to be fed in and handled very carefully to get it reinstalled. We get a lot of phone calls about that to give help. So eventually we'll have a video for that. The rope guide controls the basic limit switch. The projection will strike one of these trip dogs on a bar as it moves across the drum, corkscrewing, induced by the drum. This bar acts directly inside of a terminal block that has the switch gear for the hoist. The gearbox is unique in that it has fasteners on the outside that hold the whole gearbox to the frame. The actual two halves of the pumpkin are held together by bolts that start on the inner side and we'll show that in more detail in a, one of the other future videos. There's also a window here to observe the displacement of the brake internally so you can get a measurement of axial displacement of these conical motors. These are K motors and they are designated by two numbers with a slash in between. The first number is the number of centimeters of diameter. The second number after the slash is the number of centimeters of length of the stator. They are called K-motors in most cases, and they are conical. So, this video series really concentrates on the 1967 through around 1986 P-hoist offering by DMAG. In our videos, we will show you removal of the gearbox, we will do a video on brake adjustment of a main motor without a micro speed or, as we have on the table here, the micro speed motor. Both have shim adjustments. And then we'll take a look at how to adjust the main motor brake when you have the arrangement with the micro speed gearbox and you have an output cup of a gearbox, sometimes called a clutch with access through the sides to get to the bolts. So our future videos in this series will give you information for both micro speed and main motor brake adjustment. I hope you will like this video 
and watch the rest of the videos in this series.